Annie, it doesn't matter what I think. The police have you down as the number one suspect. They think that you burned down Reva's house. Well, I don't care what the police think. I didn't do it. I drove up to Reva's house. I saw the smoke. And the only thing I could think about was getting Mara, Shane, and Tammy out of there. Well, whatever happened, happened. The children are safe. But you are another matter. Now, what we have to do is call a lawyer and try to stem the damage is already done. Why are you looking at me that way? Because you're enjoying this, aren't enjoying you? Enjoying what? That I'm accused of yet another crime so Alan Spaulding can play the big hero. Well, believe it or not, Alan, there are some terrible things in Springfield that happen that Annie Dunn is not responsible Stop for. Stop it, Annie. Stop it right now. I never said that you were guilty. I never said I thought that you were guilty. But I know how angry you were at Reva for humiliating you on television. Angry enough to do something rash. Yeah, well, maybe I was angry enough to leave her in a burning building. But those children weren't hurt. I wouldn't do anything to hurt those children. Wait a minute. No. Are you saying no, that, that you I, left no. her in there? No, to... I'm not. I'm not. That's not what I meant. Well, now. then would you please tell me the truth? Fine. What if I did? And... Everything happened so quickly, Alan. I just, I went into the building and I saw Reva and I was looking at her and... I just, I walked away from her. I wanted her to die. Right at that moment, I wanted her to die. But then I left the house and I knew that I couldn't do it, so I turned around and then the door slammed. The, the door slammed and I couldn't get back in and the smoke was so thick and I could barely breathe and I almost died myself, Ellen. I wasn't thinking clearly. All I could think about was Reva and everything that she has taken away from me. And because of her, I might lose you too. Well, you, you know something, Ellen? That's okay. That's really all right. Because I don't need you. I don't need anybody in this damn town. Hey. I'm glad you let uh, Jesse go in and see Michelle. He's a good kid. She loves him a lot. Yeah, well, they were planning to elope last night, Dad. Elope? He was waiting for her at the lighthouse. No wonder he acted so strange last night. He came by looking for Michelle. He couldn't find her, and he said she would never stand him up. He wouldn't tell me what was going on. Well, they had everything worked out, everything. He was going to get a full-time job. Michelle was going to finish school. He even told me about taking his GED and going to college. This is unbelievable. Only something like this, only something terrible like this was going to keep them apart. You know, maybe, maybe we should have just let him alone from the very beginning. Everything's gonna be just fine. Your father said so. They're gonna take off your bandages and I promise you, I'll be the first thing you see. Thanks. Sweetie, I know beyond the shadow of a doubt you know that he loves me and you know how much I changed when I fell in love with him right I mean, you said it yourself and that was because he really made me feel secure mother he really loved me for the first time in my life I felt that and I think that what's happened now is that he's just I think that he's just forgotten, you know, what, what, we, what we meant to each other. And so that's why this party is so important, because I truly believe that this is going to cement our relationship forever. I do. You think a party is going to do all that? I know. I'm sure it sounds like I've gone off the deep end, you know. I don't know. Maybe I have. But when Hart and I broke up, all those feelings of security and contentment that I had, they just evaporated. And... I... 
I've been feeling really lost, Mother, lately. I mean, really lost. Like the way I felt for most of my life. Dinah, you're not lost. You're right here, and you're beautiful and resilient and resourceful. And you have a mother who loves you, who's also right here. I know I wasn't before, but I, I am now. I know you are. And that's why I need you to come, okay? I think, really believe that this is going to be a whole new beginning for me in heart, and I really need for you to be there, okay? Hi, ladies. Hey! Uh, hey, it's Dawn. You stole that guy? I know the customers, I'm really busy. Maybe if you could just order right now. Was it something I said? I'll order later. Bye. Uh, you know what? I'm so happy to see you, honey, but I have to go, so I miss you already. Bye. Okay. Bye, sweetie. Well, I, uh, I came here to talk to Dinah, but... Maybe I should talk to you first. Uh, sure. What about? Well, um... We, we've been having a rough time, Dinah and I, lately. I know. She just told me. I, I was gonna bring it up, but I wasn't sure I should, so I'm really glad you did. She's really worried about you and Cassie Lane? She told you this? Yeah. She certainly did. I, uh... She's feeling really vulnerable right now. I mean, she could use a lot of reassurance. From you. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, so could I. Are you all right? Yeah. I don't know how you did it, Dad. I mean... I don't, I don't know how you were in that operation all by yourself watching them. You should have seen her, Rick. When she was rolled in, she was so... so helpless, so... quiet, trusting. I know. You know, all your life you believed that the Lord would never let anything happen to your child and then something like this happens. Dad, she's gonna be all right. You don't know that. She's with the finest surgeon in the state, Dad. She's going to get through this. Rick, please don't patronize me. You know, as well as I do, she could be blind for the rest of her life. Nothing's changed, I promise you. Our plans are going to go just as we planned. I can see it now when I come home. You'll be waiting for me with that big smile of yours. I'll come in and kiss you and I'll hold you, make love to you. I promise you everything we've planned is gonna go just as we dreamed it. Nothing's gonna get in our way, nothing. Mommy? Yeah, sweetie? Does this mean we won't have any Christmases here? Hmm. We're gonna have Christmas? And you know what? Your Aunt Riva and I were talking and you know what we decided? What? That this is going to be the most special Christmas of all. You want to know why? Why? Because we found ourselves a family that we never knew we had. I found Tammy in the park. That's right. You did. And you know what? I couldn't be more grateful. This fire was a tough break for all of us. But you know something? We're going to get through this. We are. So let's go, shall we? Let's all, let's get in the car and take off to school. Go on. Get your dolly. You know, there's something good that always comes out of the bat. Like heart offering to help us. Yeah, I know, but you know, that, that, that made it a lot harder because he, he was wonderful. I mean, did you see how great he was with the kids? I mean, he is, he's too, too good. Too good to be true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he is true. He's true to Dinah, and that's all there is to it, so... You know, I always thought that a sister of mine would fight a little harder for the guy she was crazy.